Welcome back to the QVC Fashion Channel. Kelly Dobbs is still standing in the woodworks trying to prevent this interview from happening. But Kelly Dobbs, I want you to know Susan Lucci would get through rain, through snow to be here with me today. <laughs> and I just want you to know that she's here in the studio. Miss Susan Lucci has returned again to see me, Dale Madison, on the QVC Fashion Channel. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Dale. Nothing to be away from you. Oh, my <laughs> this is, you know, this, this, didn't I tell you, Kelly? Didn't I? Didn't I tell you? Susan Lucci. You Lucci's. were right. You could see it in my eyes. That's right. That. And it was so interesting. I met Helmet, her husband, earlier, and he says, I'm the real husband. And he just, he just said, that was all he said to me, I'm the real husband. <laughs> and I keep seeing him walk back and forth. He wasn't mm. here yesterday. Oh, no, but then he saw us on camera together, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. This is a great day for me. This is an hour in the beauty boutique, and I've got the wonderful and talented Susan Lucci. Thank and let me, by the way, I just want before I before I get um, reprimanded, <laughs> I have the talented Fernando Romero here and the lovely Thank and talented you. Linda. And Fernando will be telling us a little bit about the hair care system and how we put it together and how we work with Susan and their wonderful chemistry. I mean, a chemistry different than the chemistry between me and Susan. <laughs> Theirs was more on a plutonic kind of basis. It wasn't intense. <laughs> Like what's going on here on this set now? Look, I was really told, I was I was reprimanded. All the fans started calling me yesterday. They said, Dale, you absorbed all of Susan Lucci's time, and we will be calling today, and we want to talk to her. We want you to stop talking so much so that they can so talk they can to you. Talk. I'd love so to I'm going to gonna, them. I'm gonna shut up a lot today, and you can call in. You can ask Please. Susan Lucci anything about her hair care system. In fact, I'm just going to give you the item numbers and just a teeny teeny bit about it. Then I'm going to shut up and let Susan talk. You can call, and I won't say anything. I promise. Item number A6190 is the Susan Lucci Professional Hair Care System. It carries a retail value of $85 and a QVC price of $39.50. Now, you think $39.50 is a lot to pay for a hair care system, but this is something that will take it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, it is a professional salon quality hair care system, and beyond that, it's the best uh, line of hair care that I've ever used, and I have tried everything in my life. Um, it works. The bottom line is it works, and it works the first time you use it. I have no patience. I don't want to know that I have to use something for a week or a month before I see results. I found results just using the shampoo alone. I think the reason it works so well is a particular combination of botanical extracts. There are no animal derivatives in the products. There is nothing in the, in the system to weigh, weigh your hair down. I thought I could never use a conditioner. But I can use these conditioners even on a daily basis, and it puts my hair in more beautiful condition, which is what I always thought a conditioner should do. So it, uh, the kit you will get is a beautiful box. Oh, good. Here we go. It's here. Your package will arrive looking like this, and it opens in a very interesting way from the side, which I love. It's a little different. And all six items will be in here along with a booklet which will tell you briefly, and I mean very briefly, just one or two sentences as to how to use the products. And then you can use it, obviously, whatever way you like to. But so all six items are in the box, and it's for yourself, or you can wrap that up and present it as a gift. First of all, there's the shampoo. The shampoo is right here. It comes in a 12-ounce size. All these large bottles are 12-ounce size, and the whole system is based on daily use, and it should last you for one month. Some people are telling us it lasts a little longer because everything is, is a little bit concentrated. So the shampoo, purifying shampoo, we um, advise two applications, one to clean, one to put moisture back into your hair, which is what's giving you the life. Then there are two strengths of conditioner. The moisture infusion rinse in a large bottle because it's for daily use, and the deep conditioner, which is in a smaller bottle because you'll probably use this less frequently, and it is a little bit more concentrated than the other, so a little bit goes a long way. If you've been in the sun or you've had a perm or color-treated hair, the deep conditioner might be something you'd like to use a little more frequently. And it's really good for people who have damaged their hair. Who the have damaged kind of their hair already or who have coarse hair or dry hair. Uh, some people with very naturally curly hair tell me that they'd like a little bit more shine in their hair. This deep conditioner is a big help for that. Uh, the Pollution Shield hairspray, every item does just what it says it does. It shields your hair against the, the uh, pollution and also the ultraviolet rays of the sun. And um, this, a lot of men are telling me they love because it gives a lot of hold without any stickiness so people don't know you're using it. And I think that's great for men and women. So when you're running your hands through someone's hair, you don't want to get stuck. <laughs> exactly. You want your hair to feel as good as it looks. And, and with the products, it, it truly does. Then these are the two very unique items to the system. First of all, the balancing scalp elixir. It does just what it says. It balances your scalp. 
If your hair is oily, it makes it less oily. If it's dry, it makes it less dry. And in fact, many people have said that those white flakes they used to get from dry scalp have disappeared since they've been using the balancing scalp elixir. And it feels great. Oh, it just feels so good. It's very... <laughs> We're going to do a massage in a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it does. It really does feel great. Really, it does. Helmet, everything's fine. Everything is fine. It's just for business, that's all. And <laughs> it just... Uh, it wakes your scalp up. I usually put this on in the morning after I have shampooed and uh, put the conditioner on and rinse the conditioner off, towel dry a little bit and put this balancing scalp elixir, my hands onto the fingertips mm -hmm. and just massage in the scalp and the hairline. I know a woman who puts this in her purse and takes it to work and so around four o'clock in the afternoon when she has the, the blahs, she goes into the ladies room and just wakes up her scalp and wakes up her hair. Fernanda's the one who told me that this, this could happen. I never even knew such a thing was possible. Elixir sounds almost like a magic potion. You, know, you think about the days of King Arthur and, yes. you know, Merlin's yes. wrapping, you know. Well, Fernando Merlin was stirring this up, and he, <laughs> he came up with this. He put it together with this elixir. The elixir. It's a magic potion. It feels great, and it makes such common sense, because if your scalp is clean, your hair will just bounce and be lively and clean, too. Then there is the radiance comes in a, a frosted glass bottle. It's sturdy. You can travel with it or keep it in your purse if you like. And it has a little eyedropper on top. I love this one. This oh, is, this I, I got here early just to rub my radiance in. Oh, this stuff. Everyone's calling it this miracle in a bottle. About three drops, it's like I would say. a little medicine dropper of it. little medicine and dropper. Like Instant shine. But you can see Dale's hair still just has body and it doesn't flatten it down. But the shine is there. Up. And it's still soft. It's Very so shiny. soft. <laughs> Very shiny. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let me see this side. Oh, yes, wow. that side is also yes. very shiny. And it's got a nice <laughs> smell to it. As we said, it doesn't contrast with your, um, uh, like your men's cologne or something like that. It's not going to be competing in scent. No, we purposely kept the scent very fresh, very refreshing, very clean, so that it would not interfere with a man's aftershave or a woman's perfume. I had a conversation earlier today with um, Mike, <laughs> and we were talking about um, like, um, like why certain products have plant essences in it. And then I said, you know, I tried a shampoo a while back that had like hydrated animal protein in it. Mm. And I said, and I never realized how heavy and thick and dead like it made my, my, my hair feel. And I said, if you think about eating red meats or eating lots of heavy meated foods versus a person who's a vegetarian and they said they feel lighter, they feel more energetic, the same kind of principle goes back and forth in terms of a hair product. You're and absolutely you, right. You wonder why people were using that sort of thing in hair products in the first place. I, you do wonder. I think we didn't know any better. I think we've evolved to now a little bit more knowledge, and Fernando had this knowledge for a while. This man's been in the business what made 30 you, years. Fernando, what made you decide that this was something that you had to do right now? Well, you know, many years ago we didn't know anything. And like Susan said, now with technology being so advanced that we really know a lot more what's happening and, and, and hair and, and uh, hair care products, skin, uh, makeup, um, you know, we're trying to gear everything to more healthy things because I think that uh, what you put in is what is going to come out. And what you put in your hair, it will be the result of a good, good product. So, you know, with all the botanical extracts, we find out that it was unnecessary to use any animal fats in the product as well as to uh, uh, test the product in animals. It, it's unnecessary. How, well, then how did you go about testing it? Well, what we did is we went to UCLA. We have done extensively. Uh, we spent so many hours at UCLA testing the products. And, you know, we do have some photographs. I don't know if they're available right now. But you have uh, I saw them. I saw them They're like hair shafts. Yes. What happens is we went to UCLA. My son, Brandon, and I, we got into this project together. Is he, like a, is he a hairstylist or a chemist? Or no, a he's uh, 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, start him young, okay. <laughs> and uh, he said, hey, Dad, you know, let's go over to uh, UCLA and do the, do the testing. I said, what a great idea. So we went to UCLA, and what we did is we took four strands of hair or four different uh, or two different types of, 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 of um, hair. And, and one of the pictures you can see, a head of hair that uh, all the, um, the, the cuticles of the hair have been lifted basically because... Uh, a permanent wave or uh, abuse of the uh, styling tools like curling irons or blow dryers. And uh, what you can see in the right picture, you can see before and down below, you see an after photograph after you have used the, uh, after we use the dip conditioner. Now, the dip conditioner is a product that you can 
uh, use basically three to four times a week depends on how damaging your hair is, uh, what stage. And even if your hair is not damaged, even if you do not have any uh, color treatment or perms, you know, you should still use the deep conditioner to put that elasticity and shine into your hair. The deep conditioner will work from the inside out by sealing the cuticles of the hair. And you can see a picture before and after. It's just an incredible result. Now, the, the, the picture on the top left, is now that the like picture a on the t and, and to my left, that's split ends. And that's caused by sometimes when the hair is wet, people have the tendency to pull too much or either vibrating. Sometimes people braid their hair when it's wet and you don't allow for, 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 for the hair to breathe properly. So what happens, all the split ends, you know, they start working their way up and then all of a sudden, you know, that's why I recommend as a professional to have people have their ends cut off at least every six to seven weeks. So um, we see a picture before now and after, and you can see in, in the left-hand side, you can see how the, the, uh, the hair after using the deep conditioner really has been restored into a beautiful normal position. Now, for some people, just having those split ends cut is like kind of cuts into their look. I mean, soap opera divas have lots of hair. You know, you just can't keep getting your hair cut no, off but every I think even people. Oh, I absolutely cut my ends off. I, I have a trim every four or five weeks. And I think even people with short hair probably trim it more frequently than that in order to keep the short hair in the style, in the shape that they would like it. Uh, I also wanted to mention about the testing at UCLA. We also tested at Fernando's school as well. And in both places, we tested on people of every ethnic background, no matter what your, your background, Caucasian European hair or Afro hair or Oriental or Latino hair. And uh, every age group, men, women, and children, people with gray hair, people with natural hair, naturally, c their color being natural, people with uh, permed hair, unpermed hair, uh, our own children, Fernando's three boys, and I have a daughter and a son, uh, both who don't have color-treated hair, and, <laughs> <laughs> and they tested it, too. And it's just, it's the safest product that I can imagine using, uh, and so my children are using it. And it's also great for the environment because of all the natural ingredients. And it's so less confusing. You see all the products, and you can kind of be overwhelmed if you're just kind of used to washing with one shampoo and then conditioning with something else. But if it's less confusing in the sense that you don't have to, to designate a shampoo for dandruff, designate a shampoo for oily hair, designate a shampoo for dry hair, you know, permanently colored hair and stuff like that. This will work on simply all simple, all, every type of hair. Um, it's, uh, if you have hair, you can use this product. <laughs> <laughs> well, generally, generally speaking, you know, hair is the same. It's made out of protein. So one of the things that Susan and I did, and we keep doing, doing through some of the research with some other surprises that we are becoming now in the near future, mm -hmm. you know, we are working <laughs> very hard making sure that this whole system will work for all types of hair. Now, the amazing thing is uh, that everybody needs a conditioner. Everybody needs a good uh, hair care system to work on, on, you know, whether you have damage or you have... Uh, even with natural, clean, uh, natural hair, you know, you do need it to restore moisture and elasticity into your hair. So, so if you shampoo every day and then you don't condition, you end up cleaning your hair but damaging your hair at the same time. Well, you can clean it and, and that's, you know, that's good, but you can do better for it. You can put the conditioner on and therefore restore some of the moisture that is taken out from daily shampooing. Because hair needs moisture. A lot of people used to try to say that the, the, the product that comes out of your scalp is like dead follicles or something, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not true. No, not really. You know, if you take a strand of hair, and I, it's very hard to see right here. You know, if you, if you pull the hair, you can see there is a stretch, it's like a rubber band. Mm -hmm. So what happens is Linda's hair has a medium to fine hair. And obviously she's been using the system for the last four months. And this is why you, can, you are able to see that. You can pull and then the hair goes back to the normal position. Mm -hmm. So this is where the dip conditioner really works well because it deposits moisture into the cuticles into the cortex of the hair and you know linda she's a professional model she uses uh, electric rollers and you really have to be very careful uh, when you use electric rollers or the curling iron because you can melt the cortex of the hair and then you lose your elasticity and then your hair just has no bounce it has no more life and it breaks and, off and it right. breaks mm. that's where the botanical styling lotion can really come in handy too this is a new addition to the line of products these six items would come in the kit, in the, in the gift box, which we showed you earlier. And this is one of the new pieces. And this is one of the new pieces because so many people 
called up and, and wrote and, and asked for this botanical styling lotion. All the products are botanical extracts. The botanical styling lotion will help protect your hair against curling irons and blow dryers, as well as give it a little bit more oomph when you try to style it. It will hold a no. set better and bend to the brush is, better. This is the one that will, like, give your hair do back after, like, having it done for a couple of days or something. Oh, you yes. need that extra oomph to, like, that's, say... That's exactly right. If you want to give your hair a rest and don't want to... Uh, put uh, blow dryers and hair curlers in it the next day. You can just put the uh, styling lotion on and your hair will have some memory and it will go back to in a similar way that it was the day before. I often do that to give my hair a break. And a lot of women go to the beauty salon once a week and long about midweek, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, they like to refresh their hair. Or for example, if you have your hair done on a Friday because you're going to a, a wedding rehearsal dinner and the next day you have the wedding, it's a good way to wake up the hair and, and keep its memory going. If you order the botanical styling lotion, you get two bottles in the package. Uh, one, the 12 ounce size, the same as the other large size bottles, and a small travel size, again, because people have been asking for travel and purse sizes, so that's the smaller.